COVID-19 has, of course, impacted all of us in ways we don't fully understand yet, and it's not over. As the beginning of the school year approaches and uncertainty still reigns, we spoke with Center College student Melissa Collins about the challenges of being in college right now and the connection she sees between the current plight of students and the findings of the ACE study. Melissa, thank you so very much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, I want to go back in time a little bit and rewind to that mid-March day when things really changed uh, for you and so many students across this nation, whether they're in K-12 through or college. But as being a, a college student, you're at Center College in Danville. Tell us about that experience of not having school in person, being a college student, but not being in college. What's been the hardest part of this experience? I would say um, being away from campus, definitely. I mean, I, I fell in love with Center um, because of the Center atmosphere and being on campus and the people at Center. And, you know, that's been my experience. And not having that every day, that was, that was definitely a struggle. And, and, you know, not being able to go in and knock on your professor's door and, and have, you know, a conversation with them about a question you have in class. So I think that was the hardest thing in trying to make that transition and with everything else that's going on in the world and, and not having, you know, that support system right there, you know, mm -hmm. on campus. And so. that leads me right to my next question, Melissa. You know, you are very concerned about others. You're an intern with the Kentucky Youth Advocates. You're a rising senior at Center, and you do care about how your other peers, who may not be in circumstances and situations as fortunate as you, how they may be coping and dealing. Can you t share with us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I think, you know, prior to my internship with KYA, um, you know, I hadn't really thought much about, you know, how other people might be affected in different ways that I am. I mean, you know, I, I just, I guess I was consumed with our own center experience and kind of thinking, well, you know, I'm sure people are having similar experiences like I'm having, but, you know, that's not really the case. And, I, and I'm fortunate to have a family who, you know, loves me and who cares for me and supports me. And, you know, I have that, but I, I've come to realize that that might not necessarily be the case for all college students, um, even at Center. Um, I think that we like to think that that's the case, but it might not necessarily be. And, you know, and I think that's what's so important is understanding that and, and breaking that myth and realizing that, you know, not everybody necessarily has someone. Um, so we, we need to understand that and, and, and offer support um, in that way. So. You contribute to a blog that is run by the Kentucky Youth Advocates, and you recently wrote an article for their website, and you say, I'm going to just kind of requote you here. You say, as time goes on, stressful home environments, social isolation, and other stressors, stressors resulting from the pandemic might begin to take a toll on the long-term health of current college students as a result of these traumatic experiences. Talk to me about, you have written about ACEs, which not a, a whole lot of people, which we hope by the time they watch this program we'll learn more about but talk to us about what you wrote and how it, the understanding that you have of aces impacts your thinking and approach to these issues about what you hope colleges and universities will think about as they reopen so i've really been fascinated by this concept um, since i started my internship and i i wanted to sort of see if i could connect that to you know some of the experiences that maybe some college students might have been going through and and wondering you know i'm no doctor by any means but um wondering how you know if if this might be a thing that we we see later on mm -hmm. if this trauma that we might see as a result of the pandemic and, and the the experience of being you know, having online classes from college um, might be a thing that we see later on in life. But I think what's great about understanding ACEs is, you know, seeing how we can then prevent these health risks from actually happening. Um, and I think that's where colleges and universities can come in and help our students once we get back in the fall, whether that's in person or online, whatever that might look like, having resources available 
for our students, um, I think is going to make all the difference in how we come out even stronger after this. Well, Melissa, good luck to you uh, as you mm -hmm. forge into this new semester at Center. We wish you the absolute best and not just your academic pursuits, but in health. Thank you. I appreciate it. We thank Melissa for her wise assessment of the potential impact of this current crisis on students across the state and the need for schools and colleges to compassionately address the mental and physical health challenges that they may be facing.